Hello YouTube universe. Wow, do you see what's going on with GameStop? Unbelievable. Hey, in 19 days, it goes from $17 beyond $300. And the reason why this is happening is because you had big institutions out there deciding to short the stock and all of a sudden you had your retail investors decide to come to GameStop rescue and really put a short squeeze on those shorter. In order to understand this, to what's going on, you have to understand what a short sell is. Once you know what a short sell is, you see how uh, a short squeeze can actually cause those shorters to buy up the stock at a loss, which further drives up the price of the stock. It is, it is a feeding frenzy. You got your retail investors buying the stock to, sh to put the squeeze on the shorters. The shorters having to buy the stock at a loss, which continues to drive up the price. Wow. This video here is going to explain the short sale. In order to understand what's going on, you have to understand what is a short sale. And once you have that, you'll understand what is a short squeeze. And then all you have to do is just relate that to what's what we're witnessing right now when it comes to GameStop. All right, hope you guys enjoy the video. Come on now. That's right. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe buttons, followed by that notification button. That'll help out the channel. Thanks. All right, here's a down and dirty on a short sale. Basically, this is how it works. Let's say you take a company, XYZ company, and the current stock price of that company is $10. And you believe, or whoever believes, that the price of the stock is going to go down. So what they can possibly do to try to profit from this is they can go ahead and do what they call a short sale. In other words, they decided to short sell this stock and they sold 100 shares and they received a thousand dollars they've just shorted the stock in a normal stock transaction you buy the stock in order to open and then whenever you close it out whenever you sell it that's when you close out the trade it may be years down the line with the short sell it's different it's the it's the opposite you sell something even though you may not have it in order to open a trade then you got to buy it back to close the trade Hopefully you're buying it back at a lower price. So person shorted the stock here. So what they're looking, they're hoping for is for the price of the stock to go down. Let's say it goes down to 500 bucks. Now the stock that he owns is worth 500 bucks. That thousand dollars that he received is actually in their account, but it's held in, under collateral. In order to close it out and release that collateral, they got to, they got to buy. If it's at $5 and they decide to go ahead and buy in order to close out that transaction, they'll make 500 bucks. If it goes down to a dollar, the difference between that dollar and a thousand dollars is 900 bucks. That's $900, $900 profit. Once they buy to close out that trade, what will happen is that $900 will be released from collateral, goes back, they can do what they want with it. All right, when it does this, what they want, they're receiving a profit from it. Anything below that $10, all right, it's a profit. However, if it goes the opposite way, it's a loss. In other words, let's say it goes the opposite way. $10 stock goes to $15, so now guess what? You're looking at 1,500 bucks. This person now is going to owe 500 bucks because they got that thousand dollars in their collateral account now all of a sudden now they have to in order to close this out they have to pay fifteen hundred dollars a five hundred dollar loss if it goes up to twenty dollars that's two thousand once again that's a thousand dollar loss when it starts moving the opposite way for a short seller they're basically being pressured now to go ahead and buy that stock back to close it out that is called a short 
squeeze. All right. So when you're short selling, you're doing just the opposite of buying a stock. You're selling the stock that you don't own, receiving the profits from that. If it goes down, it's going to be profitable. In order to close out, in order to get out of this trade, they got to buy it back. If it goes up, if it goes the opposite way, that is considered a loss. And the further it goes from that $10, goes up from that $10, there's more pressure on that seller to go ahead and buy it to close out that position. That there is called a short squeeze.